Hello friends. Today, I am going to explain a psychological demonic horror movie. The Free Fall was released in 2022. Its director is Adam Stillwell. This movie got a 4.6 out of 10 IMDb rating. Let's get started. The concept of exorcism in this movie is shown quite differently. So I hope you will definitely like this video. At the beginning of the film, we see a girl named Sarah, who was talking to her sister Julie. She invites Julie to the anniversary of her parents. But Julie refuses to come to the celebration because her relation was not good with his parents. Now Julie asks her to go and take flowers for mom and dad from her house because she was not going to go there. The scene changes and we see Sarah who came to her mom and dad's house. And when she goes inside, she does not find anyone. Then she goes to the second floor where she sees her mother in the bedroom. And seeing her, her senses flew away because her mother was stabbing her dad continuously. Seeing this, Sarah's condition worsens. After this, her mother also commits suicide by slitting her throat. And this is the introduction of this movie. Now the story moves forward a few months later. When Sarah is at her parents' house and we see her husband Nick. In fact, Sarah did not remember any of her old things. Her memory was completely erased. She didn't even remember her name. Nick tells her that he found Sarah in the bathtub, where she attempted suicide. Nick apologizes to her because he was not with her during her bad times. But Nick ensure her that he will take care of her all the time. Now it's night, and Sarah wakes up. She feels someone's presence in her room, after which she goes there and starts checking, where she sees her parents who are in demonic form. But all this was a nightmare for Sarah. When she opens her eyes, Nick is near her. He gives her a pill, which the doctor prescribed for her. The next day Sarah sees Nick talking to a lady, after which she gets a call from someone on the telephone. Sarah picks up the call where a girl on the other side was speaking, but just then Nick comes there. Taking the phone from Sarah scolds the girl and hangs up the call. Now in the next scene, Sarah and Nick are in the kitchen, where Sarah asks Nick about her parents and her sister. In fact, Sarah knew a little bit about her family, but she did not know that her parents were dead. Nick now tells Sarah about the death of her parents. He says that her parents died last October, after which Sarah asks about her sister. Nick tells that her sister is not trustworthy at all, and her sister is also responsible for the death of her parents. Nick tells her to forget the old things and start a new one. Now in the next scene, Sarah is sleeping, and when she wakes up, she sees the same woman again. On asking Sarah, Nick tells her that that woman is her caretaker Rose, and Nick hired Rose for her. Now we see Sarah's taking a bath. She then looks at the door which she starts opening. But then there, her caretaker Rose comes and stops her. Because it was forbidden for Sarah to go to the third floor. Because Sarah had attempted suicide earlier. And she did not want Sarah to do this again. Now here Sarah asks Rose about the clock. But Rose categorically denies her that there is no clock here. So she tells her that she heard the sound of the clock many times. Rose tells her that maybe she will have a hallucination. Then we see Nick with whom Sarah comes and asks him about the bathtub. She asks him if he said I met you in a bathtub, but there is no bathtub in this house. Nick tells her that he got it removed, so Sarah's bad memory does not come back. In fact, Nick did not want her old memories to come back at any cost. Now Sarah wakes up again in the night where she goes to the lavatory. Now in the lavatory, she finds herself in a bathtub where she was cutting her hand, after which she wakes up. Now she sees her sister and someone else in front of her. But we see this also happens to be in her dream. But when Sarah looks through the window, she sees the same two people, whom Nick was asking to leave. When Nick comes, she asks about them. Nick tells her that she was her sister Julie, and Nick doesn't like Julie at all. Nick wanted Sarah not to have any relationship with Julie. Now Sarah and Nick are together in the night and he talks to her very nicely. Sarah says why not make a new memory and start a new life. Nick says that he will be very happy with that. After sleeping at night, Sarah again dreams about Julie. When Sarah wakes up, Nick tells her that he is going to have a small dinner party here, where his friends will also come and after their arrival, you will feel a little better. Then we see Sarah doing the gardening, but just then Rose comes there and she tries to help her. But Rose starts talking to her in a strange way. Seeing her behavior, Sarah leaves from there. Comes to Nick where Nick was typing something on a typewriter. Sarah tells him about Rose's behavior. Here Nick starts talking to her a little rudely. Because of this, Sarah slaps him. In the night, Sarah wakes up again and goes downstairs, where she realizes the presence of someone. Just then, Nick comes over there and they both start getting intimate there. Sarah had blood on her hand, which Nick completely ignores. In the next scene, Sarah hears a door knock. When she opens the door, she finds a man named Tom. 
the one who says that he is her sister's friend, and he has come here to help her. He is giving her a key, and tells her that the voices she hears will free her from here. Now as soon as she puts her hand forward to take that key, only then Nick comes there. At the same time, Tom also disappears. Sarah tells Nick about Tom. Then Nick tells her that this is all her illusion. Nick again entangles her in his talk, and he also gives her a red dress. He tells her to wear this dress for tomorrow night's dinner party. In the next scene, Sarah again gets a nightmare, where she sees her dad and mom. And in the same nightmare, she also sees her sister. Sarah is in a storeroom, and there she sees a photograph of her family. There she finds a book, from which she gets a key, which she picks up. She again sees Tom, who was pressing her throat and saying, you know who you are. Just then, Nick wakes her up, and we can see that this also happens to be her nightmare. Nick calms her down and here Sarah sees Key on the floor and picks it up, after which she was again in the garden with Rose. Here Rose again starts talking to her in a sarcastic manner, and in the meantime, she starts saying bad things about Nick too. Hearing this, Sarah expels her from work. After she leaves, Sarah sees a plant. Unrooting it, she sees someone's intestine along with the root. Due to this, she gets scared and some black thing starts coming out of her mouth. But after a while, it all disappears. After which she goes to take a bath. She tells Nick everything, but Nick tells her that he checked the garden. But there is nothing there. Now Sarah gets ready for the party, and Nick gives her a pill. When Sarah comes down, everyone is looking at her. Because she was looking gorgeous in a red dress. Introduces Nick to his friends. Rose is also there. Actually, Rose did the decoration and the rest of the work there. Now Sarah was not at all happy seeing Rose here. They all sit at the dining table where there is pork in the dish. Here Nick starts comparing pork with human meat and starts talking about cannibalism. We are able to notice here that the people sitting there are laughing in some strange way. Meanwhile, Sarah often sees Tom there, which is telling her something about that key. Then Rose gives Sarah a drink and she also puts a pill inside this drink. Nick also sees all this but he does not react. The man sitting next to Sarah starts touching her strangely. Despite Sarah's refusal, he does not stop. So Sarah stabs him with folk in his hand. People sitting there also see all these incidents. But after seeing this, they start laughing. Then Nick starts dancing with Sarah. So much happened here, Nick did not react, and neither did the guests. One thing is clear from this there is definitely something wrong. In the middle of the dance, we see that all of them were trying to drink Sarah's blood together. Meanwhile, Sarah sees her mother's spirit and Nick is with her. Who was wearing a pig mask? After this, we see Sarah in a bathtub full of blood. Then Nick tells her that she has finally completed the last step, stabbing the man sitting there. Actually here Nick is a devil and all the guests there were demons. Those people wanted Sarah to commit sin so, Sarah would become like them. That is, he was possessing Sarah's body. The dream in which she sees her parents is actually the spirit of her mother and father, which was imprisoned by Nick. Even Sarah's mom and dad had been killed by Nick, that is, by the devil. By possessing her mother in the starting scene, it was the devil who had killed them. After that Nick means that the devil possessed Sarah. Sarah escapes from Nick and goes to the room and closes the door. Just then Tom comes over there and puts the holy cross on Nick's head. After which he asks Sarah to run away with the key. Here Tom is none other than a bishop, that is, a priest. Sarah takes the key and goes to the same door where Rose had forbidden her to go. Now here we come to know that Sarah was in a demon dimension for so many days. It means she was inside a house built inside her own mind, which no one else but devil had shown her. And that door was the way to the real world. Sarah opens it and starts moving towards the light, but there she finds a lot of demons inside the tunnel. Avoiding it, she moves on. Now here it was about Sarah's willpower, and moving forward, she reaches inside a library. There she sees Nick and he was trapping her. Tom was also present outside the window asking her to come down. Nick was complicating Sarah in his talk and he was convincing her to stay with him. But then Sarah remembers the old things. When Sarah's mother took her own life by killing her father. Now Sarah comes to know that her mom did not do it intentionally. Rather, all this was done by Nick to her. After this, Tom puts holy water on Nick, due to which his face starts burning. Meanwhile, Sarah jumps out of the window. Now we see Tom and Julie. They were doing an exorcism on her. Meaning that the world which was in the story so far, here everything was Nick's creation. Actually, all these are happening inside the demon world. In reality, Tom and Julie were doing an exorcism on Sarah. Tom is now here to ask Devil to free Sarah and Devil leaves her body. Now Sarah also comes in a completely real dimension. Here the exorcism of the father becomes successful. 
But after a while, Tom warned Sarah and Julie that both of them should be careful, because it's not all over yet. After this, Father Tom leaves Sarah with Julie. But here we notice one thing Julie's behavior had become strange. She says that from now on such a mistake will not happen again. Now the behavior of Julie seemed to be similar to that of the devil that is, Nick. This means that now the devil has possessed Julie. After this, the movie ends. If you like the explanation, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.